Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay under ng grade 10 mathematics second quarter which is all about introduc introduction to polynomial function. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do ay i-define muna natin yung polynomial function. So when we talk about polynomial function, polynomial function is a function defined by a polynomial in one variable. P of x equals a sub n x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 where a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, a sub 1, and a sub 0 are real numbers and a sub n must not be equal to 0 and n is a non-negative integer. Okay, so medyo tedious or medyo komplikado yung definition niya kung kung i-check ninyo. So mamaya mas maintindihan niyo further kapag nagbigay na ako ng examples. Okay, examples dito. So we have p of x equals 5x squared minus 3x plus 9. f of x equals 1 half x minus 3. And y is equal to negative 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 11. So, kapag nakakita, ka, nakakita na kayo ng p of x, f of x, y, y, um, g of x, h of x, a of x, lahat yon ay polynomial function. So, we are dealing with polynomial function. Kung mapansin nyo yung mga polynomial function natin dito, they are in a degree of descending degree or pababa yung degree niya or in a standard form na yung ating polynomial function. 5x squared, kasi nakalagay dito, dapat uh, pabawas ng pabawas yung degree, hanggang 0 na lang yung degree niya. Ay, yung zero, uh, 1 na lang yung degree niya, rather. Okay, so meron tayong iba't ibang degree ng polynomial function. And based dun sa degree ng polynomial function, nakabase kung ano yung tawag natin dun sa function na yun. Okay, una yung constant function. Constant function is in a form of p of x equals a sub 0, where a sub 0 is not equal to 0, then the degree the degree is um, 0. Okay. So, yun yung tinatawag natin constant function. Pwede natin siyang ilagay as um, x raised to 0, or um, yun, constant function yung mga yun. Linear function naman is p of x equals a sub 1x plus a sub 0 where a sub 1 is not equal to 0, then the degree is 1. And then the degree is 1. So yung linear function natin, tandaan ninyo, ang degree niya ay 1. And yung graph ng linear function natin ay isa lang, um, isang stroke ng line or straight line. Ayan. Next, quadratic function. Quadratic function is p of x equals a sub 2x raised to 2 plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0. Dito ang degree niya ay 2. Pwede rin siyang in a form of a, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c where a must not be uh, equal to 0. Kasi kung equal to 0 yung a natin, most definitely it will become linear function. So yung quadratic function natin ay ang graph niya ay parabola. Ayan, yung may u na yan, sorry. Yung may u na yan at yung may yung pabaligtad at yung u. Next, cubic function. p of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d where a must not be again equal to 0 kasi if pag equal to 0 yung a natin, it will become quadratic function naman. And then yung degree naman niya ay 3, yung highest degree niya ay 3. Ayan. Yung quadratic uh, sorry, quartic function naman natin ay polynomial with higher degree are named after the degree. Ito naman yung mga polynomial na greater than 3 yung kanilang degree. Let's say for example, p of x equals to x raised to 7 plus 10 x raised to 4 minus 9 x squared plus 11. Ang tawag sa kanya ay 7th degree polynomial. Ayan, 7th degree polynomial. So, 8th degree polynomial, 9th degree polynomial. Kung ano yung degree ng polynomial, yun yung tawag natin dun sa quartic function na yun. Dito naman sa slide na to, we are going to determine which of the given equation is a polynomial function or not. And then, after natin i-identify, i-classify natin ngayon siya based doon sa degree. 
Okay, yung una natin ay p of x equals 2x plus 1 and then p of x is equal to 2 over x plus 1. So, alin dito yung polynomial function? Very good. Ang polynomial function natin ay ito. Why? Bakit hindi polynomial function yung ating pangalawa, yung p of x equals 2 over x plus 1? Kasi ang rule natin sa polynomial function, dapat wala siyang negative exponent sa variable. Alam natin, wala namang negative exponent eh. But, if we are going to write it as uh, walang, vari ay, walang denominator, itataas natin si x, it will become 2 x raised to negative 1 plus 1. So, meron na siyang negative na exponent sa variable. That means it is not polynomial. Okay. Since na-classify natin yung una as polynomial, anong type siya ng function? According to degree. Yes, very good. It is a linear function. Next, f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7 and f of x equals x raised to negative 3 plus 2x squared minus 7. So, napansin nyo may negative exponent sa variable yung pangalawa. So, yung una ulit yung ating uh, polynomial function, yung pangalawa naman ay hindi. So, ano naman natin, paano naman natin siya ikaklassify? According to degree, so this is a cubic function. Kasi yung highest degree niya ay 3. Next, y is equal to x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4 over x. And then, y is equal to x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4. So nakita nyo, meron na namang variable sa denominator ito. So this is not polynomial function. Yung pangalawa ay polynomial function. So, ano naman natin siya i-identify according to uh, degree? So, since it is x raised to 4, wala naman tayong x raised to 4. This is a quartic function na ang tawag natin sa kanya ay fourth degree polynomial. So, that's all for the introduction of the polynomial function. Good day.